Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in again, this is Red Tail Ray. I have never been a multi-tool guy. Um, I've always carried one, usually at least bare minimum, in my truck. Um, in a tool kit, such as that. Um, maybe, potentially two, especially this Leatherman has been in my backpack. This is the original Leatherman Super Tool. Um, handed down... Um, from a friend's granddad who actually used to be a Minneapolis police officer for a long time. It's got stuff engraved all over it, but it's, it's a tried, tried, tested, and true um, multi-tool. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite flashlight companies is MTE. This is their C3-907. I think it's a 100 or 150 lumen um, little flashlight. But I've never been a multi-tool uh, everyday carrier. I just found them to always be way too big, way too bulky, even with the super streamlined ones that they're making these days. Um, even Leatherman. Um, Gerber makes some pretty good ones. They do have a, what is it, the Gerber snapback or whatever. It's like the quick release one. You can snap it out. That one's kind of cool, but um, nothing that I've found so far has made me want to buy a Leatherman or I'm sorry, not a leather, but, but a, a multi-tool, just because of the weight and the bulk. Yes, they do offer quite a few um, awesome features, especially the, the needle nose slash heavy duty needle nose pliers, wire cutters, screwdriver bits, uh, the file, um, a leather awl or a hole punch, uh, wood saw or you know, particle kind of saw, and then a serrated blade and a regular blade. All just comes in this one, as well as a couple other tools, wire stripper, and so on and so forth, bottle, can opener. Um, but basically, in, in my opinion, um, even with the new ones that have come out, especially in the, in the last few years, even from Leatherman, with pocket clips and extremely lightweight titanium alloy bodies, um, and upgrades in steel that a lot of tool companies, especially multi-tool companies, are coming out with, um, I've still never really been a big fan just because of the way you have to carry it. So I've been playing around with the idea of making um, a way to carry my heavy duty Leatherman original, original Leatherman Super Tool um, in kind of a concealed belt ridden, you know, at least under the under the t-shirt um, kind of fashion. And I just finished this up, I actually started this project this morning on and off and back and forth and um, just got it done about an hour or two ago. I've been very, very pleased with just wearing it around the house. This is going to be my new daily carry rig. Um, as far as the flashlight goes, I have been daily carrying, wearing my uh, Duluth Trading Company pants. I have been carrying this monster. And this is uh, slightly overkill, kind of. Living out here, a little bit more out of the cities now, it's dark all the time, especially now that winter's coming. A really nice 1500 lumen flashlight really comes in handy. When you're wearing it down here on your belt, a lot of people, a lot of people start noticing that you're carrying a flashlight, give you uh, tactical nicknames that aren't always um, appreciated, I guess I'd say. Well, I'm not uh, not a mechanic anymore, but you know mechanics always carry flashlights. But if you're wearing a mechanic outfit, that's one thing. If you're going um, to work pretty much anywhere else, carrying a big flashlight like this on the outside of your pants where everybody can see it, you do attract quite a bit of attention, um, even from the other uh, like electricians and stuff who wear flashlights too. People point out and say, "You wear, hey, you're wearing a flashlight." Oh. What kind of flashlight is this? Blah blah blah, and start talking, but it's not always great to have that kind of attention, even though it is great. It's completely great to have that kind of power in a tool, but it is a little big and bulky, um, and I can only wear this flashlight, like I said, in my uh, Duluth Trading Company pants. So the idea behind this is that I downsize the flashlight, because I really don't use the flashlight all that much, and when I do, I don't need 1500 lumens. I'm um, just a, you know, 150 or 190, I can't remember what this thing is. Uh, but also carry the versatility of the multi-tool. And actually, side by side, uh, this, this this rig right here, because of the leather and the, the Leatherman, might be just a slight bit heavier 
in a full size huge flashlight but I'm gonna wear this up here I'm small on my back on my uh, support hand side my left side and uh, see what see what I think for the next couple days weeks months we'll come back to this let me know what you guys think um, a couple details and features uh, that I did incorporate into this sheath slash holster whatever you want to call it Kydex in the front. Um, I'm still waiting a month later from knifekits.com to get me my delivery that they shipped to the wrong address. So I had to use these crappy little rivets, but I'll swap those out with the heavy duty eyelets when I get my package, knifekits.com. But I also used that uh, with the heavy duty double shoulder that I've been playing with probably for the last year, still, still making these little craft projects out of, I believe it's a grade. 8 shoulder, double shoulder, pretty thick stuff, really breaks in nice and weathers really nicely. I don't like to stain it because I don't like that stuff coming off of my clothes and I don't like to wait. I just like the, the feel and the smell of a raw leather. Cut these belt slits by drilling a hole top and bottom and then slitting those out with a, with a knife. With the Kydex I did really press those in nicely. So there's positive clicks on both of the tools that you will be, or that I will be carrying. And, uh, just to show you, I mean, they're really in there. That's, that was quite a bit of work. And it's not against my body right now, which will also <clears throat> add a little bit more retention to the backspace. But hey, well, I got that out. I did um, end up finding that I couldn't press the Kydex sandwich style in as close as I wanted to. I did two test, two test runs in the sandwich style to try to see if I could get these tools as close together as possible and make a small, the smallest holster slash sheath that I could possibly make. Um, this is what I came up with. This is the first prototype. Was not happy with the bends and the folds. And actually right here you can kind of see that extra shine. The uh, Kydex got too hot at that point. This was scrap, so it wasn't anything, you know, oh crap, I just wasted that material. And it was too tall, but it was a learning experience. So I just pressed this one. I realized immediately that I wasn't happy with it. I pressed this guy. Um, also thinking ahead too that not only did I want a lot of the sandwich stuff gone, um, but I wanted these tools closer together, even still from this. Um, I'm trying to do this guy. This guy was as close, or a lot closer than I wanted, or as close as I wanted them together without touching. With the angle got off a little bit in the press, and they ended up touching and clicking and rattling together, just in my initial idea. And then this front piece sandwiched over too, which I was not happy with. So I had to bring the tools even further down and cut a wider piece of Kydex. Actually cut it from that sheet here. Um, quite a bit wider out of that same slate gray material. And this is what I came up with, minus cutting off a whole bunch of scraps. I did also angle it in kind of a step to help uh, facilitate easier um, reinsertion of the holster, or of your tools into the holster. When it's in a step like that, especially you know at an angle, um, whether you have the one tool in or not, it is kind of nice to be able to Click it against the back and drop it into place. You know where it's at without looking every time. So the clearance section, even if the flashlight's not in there, you can still kind of feel with your index finger if you're reins reinserting it this way. You can feel where that flashlight would be and you can reinsert it against your body. Same with the flashlight. So when it's on your hip, imagine it's on your hip. I'll probably do a video just quick showing you guys and blur them together uh, how nice and easy accessible that is. And how you know, they're really, really good, and they don't touch. And that little leather uh, separator that I put in there um, is an idea that I had um, to kind of get away from this um, and to waste less material and, and to try to figure that out. I ended up shoe gooing it in place, and shoe glue is some amazing stuff. I've shoe glued some things recently. And bonding leather to plastic is no problem for that stuff. Plus, it's a permanent semi-flexible solution 
and there's no stitching there's no holes there's no staples that i had to do it's just in there and it's a perfect little divider another piece of leather between the leatherman and the flashlight and as you can tell they don't click together they don't slap together they don't make a tink they don't do any of that kind of stuff so that's my idea <clears throat> shit this video is already 10 minutes long I'm just rambling um uh, got the next couple days off so i think i'm gonna be doing another couple couple videos here uh, before my weekend starts to get really busy on saturday but i'll see you guys in the next video let me know what you guys think of the most awesome leatherman holster that i've seen on the internet because i've looked i've browsed the images and i've browsed the videos and i'm not impressed that's why i made this you're welcome internet